Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're out here on Quattro Kalinas and we're going to be doing the Ibex guide. So we're going to be doing all four species of the Ibex in one video. I figured since they did drink all at the same time, might as well go ahead and just knock them all out in the same video versus doing four separate videos. So let's not waste any time, let's go ahead and jump right in. So they drink from 10 to 1400. They are a class 4 animal except for the southeastern Spanish Ibex, which are now a class 6 animal. And I did not know that whatsoever. I'm very curious to see if you guys knew that because before the update, before the Australia update I should say, I'm pretty sure they were still class 4. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure they were. And then after the update, they are now class 6. I don't remember EW ever saying anything about them changing the um, Southeastern Spanish Ibex in class. So it's just something that's very interesting. I looked on YouTube, I looked all around the internet, it still says class 4. And even where I get my information, it says class 4. But when I was um, looking for zones, they said class 6. And even in the codex, if you go to wildlife, um, go down here to wildlife and take a look at the southeastern Spanish Ibex, it says class 6. So really quickly, I'll just scroll down here, and then we'll move on to all the information. But yeah, it was just it was something that kind of caught me off guard for a second. So when I was looking around, I didn't see any information about it. But just very curious to see if you guys knew about it. So there you can see right there, class 6. But the others, they are class 4 still. Now any class 4 to 8 gun is going to get the job done just fine for the Ibex. Guns like the 303, the M1, the Malmer 7mm, or these are the 308 will work just fine. As long as it covers class 4 or class 6, you are good to go. Max level for the Ibex is 5 medium. Max weight for the Basi Ibex is 110 kg. Max weight for the Greedos is 102 kg. Max weight for the Southeastern Spanish is 87.5. And max weight for the Ronda is 70 kg. Now, Diamond for Basi Ibex is 191.6. Diamond for the Greedos is 100.1. Diamond for the Southeastern Spanish is 89.6. And Diamond for the Ronda is 107.9. Common fur types are Brown Hybrid, Buff, Gray, Gray Brown, Light Brown, and Orange. So they have all like the same common fur types, except for the Greedos and the Ronda, they do not have the orange fur type, but they do have the rest of them. And then the rare fur types for all the Ibex is albino and melanistic, so that does it for the information, there was quite a bit right there, but they don't have any collars or anything like that, so let's go ahead and jump right in, let's go take down some Ibex. Now starting things off, we're going to be up here at the very top of the map, at this lake, and we're going to be hunting the Basi Ibex first. So we have a level 4 right there, he goes up to 160, we got a few level 3s, 122 for that one, this one goes up to 158, and then we have some over here to my right. So a thing about the Ibex is that when they're drinking, they move all around, so that's why they're up here right now. More than likely, um, as we kind of watch them, they would go down here, back to the um, shoreline, and then they would go up there, they just kind of go all over the place. So we got some more level 3s, that one's a 146, 117. So we have those over there, and then we have even more over here to my left. So there's a decent level 4, he goes up to 177, I think he's the biggest one on this lake. There is another one that goes up to 175, and that's actually going to be him right there. So we have those two. We'll probably take that one down, they're about 290 out it looks like. So we should be able to get one of these and then focus on one of those. Let's get the 300, or not the 300, but the 303, and let's get this level 4 down. So there he is, giving us a fantastic shot, and that'll be perfect. And he is going to slide into the, or he's going to slide, almost slide into the water there. But he didn't. We also have some females right over there. We are a little bit closer to this herd. We have that level 4 that went up to 175 right there. I think we're going to take him. He's about 230 meters out right now. The other one, I think, is just right behind the hill, the one that went up to 177. So let's go ahead and use the M1. We'll get him down. Then we have this level 4 right here that we're going to pick up. So we should be able to get him, just go for kind of a normal shot, and yeah, he's going to drop into the water. He will be a floater. We probably could go for another one of those, as you can see, they are just alert, but I don't think we will. We'll just pick up this guy. So here he is. He will be a gold at 150.20, and we got him in the left lung and the right lung. So yeah, at that distance, 130 meters, the Ibex are going to drop, and they're just going to drop every time with a double lung anyway. Really good shot on him. So let's go ahead and wait on the other one to float over here. So our floater finally got over here, let's go ahead and get him picked up. He will be a gold at 145.04, so what was gold again for the Besiege? They are 142.93, so he just barely made gold. Got him in the left lung, and then also got the right lung and the heart right there, so just a beautiful shot on him. Really can't ask for too much better than a double lung and heart shot. But 229 meters for the distance, we'll go ahead and get this guy accepted. Let's go take down two more with the other two guns, then we'll move on to one of the other Ibex. I've always liked this lake for the Basi Ibex. You can come over here to this outpost, the Logia de la Reina, and then just come up here on top of the mountain, put like a tripod or something up there, and you can see the entire lake. Usually there's like three or four zones over here. Right now I only have two, but it used to be really, really good, and I would just hunt them constantly at this lake. 
So let's go ahead and find some to take down. We got a level three right there, goes up to 121. That one's level three, goes up to 120. And then we have some right here. I think there's a level four and that's actually gonna be him, goes up to 176. So we'll take him down with the Malmer seven millimeter. And then we actually have another herd right over there. It's got a level four in it, goes up to 145. That one goes up to 185, so he's a big one. That one right over there goes up to 188, so even bigger. So hopefully those don't flee. If, um, if they don't, we will um, go ahead and take one of those down. So let's get this level four right here. He's gonna be giving us a good shot. We have the Malmer seven millimeter. So let's go ahead and take that right there. So it might be just a little bit high, but it did get him down. So those are just gonna be chilling right over there. Might be able to get that guy. How far out are they gonna be exactly? We'll go ahead and take a look. So let's see if it'll let me actually spot it. About 322 meters out. So that's pretty far. And with the angle we have, we're way above them. So we'll have to adjust for that. So I think we'll get a little bit closer. Let's get down here and get this level four. And since we, these are just gonna be chilling over here, might as well go ahead and get another one. We'll use the um, Cesars of 308 on that guy. Let's get down here and let's get them. Now, right now it is at the end of Ibex drink time. So you can see our big level four right there that goes up to 188. He is currently leaving. So as soon as I got down here, they just kind of took off, started trotting up the hill. And we do have some others that are kind of coming back in right now. Um, but yeah, it's at the end of the drink time. So they're probably not going to be coming back. So we don't need to worry about it too much. We'll let them live another day. But here's this one right here. He's going to be the level four gold 144.11. We got him in the right scapula, the right lung and the left lung. So good shot on him with these Balmer seven millimeter. So we have that one. And then we got this level three with these Zarza 308. So at least we used all four guns on the Basi Ibex. Then we have this guy. He will be a silver at 109.82 and got him in the right lung and the left lung. So once again, another good shot on this one. The next Ibex that we're going to be going after is the Ronda Ibex. So there's a level three. He goes up to 94. I think all of these are level threes. That one goes up to 87. And then that one is also a level three. He goes up to 90 and the rest of these are females. So right now we're up here in the top right hand corner at this lake. It's actually probably my favorite for the Ronda. It's also probably the best. That one and then maybe this lake. They're both really, really good for the Ronda Ibex. So let's go ahead and get one of these down. I guess we'll go for that one right there. He does go up to 90. There was another one that went up just slightly bigger. That one goes up to 94. Let's take him down and we'll see about maybe getting another one. I really don't know if we'll be able to. We'll just see what happens. So let's go ahead and go for that guy. And then that one's just going to stand there. He's going to end up fleeing, so we won't worry about him. Something to know about the Ibex is that they will make diamond quite often at level four. I've had several like diamond level four Ronda Ibex as well as the Greedos. So that's just something to keep in mind when you are hunting them. If they have an estimate that goes past the diamond potential, definitely go ahead and take it down because you never know if it's going to be a diamond. So this guy, he will be a silver 89.05 for his trophy rating. So what was gold again? 91.40. He was close to being a gold level three, just not quite there, but got him in the right lung and the left lung with the 303. That was a fantastic shot. Here we have another level three that goes up to 90 for his estimates. We also have this guy. He's a level two, goes up to 87. And there's a third level three. He goes up to 85. So let's go ahead and get this guy down there. It says they're traveling right now. That is because I kind of got them to go alert as I was coming over. So we got some others over here. I think those are just females though. They are part of the exact same herd. Let's go ahead and focus on this guy though. So we'll take this shot right here. That'll be good. And I'm not even gonna take that level two. I thought about it for a second, but figured I wouldn't because I'd probably end up messing it up. So we got him down, we'll get over here and we'll get him. And then here we have him. So this guy will be a silver at 85.36. Got him in the right lung and the left lung. So just another double lung shot. That is what we have been hitting all day so far. So got him with the M1. Let's go ahead and get him accepted. We'll probably take down one more from this um, like lake right here. And then we'll head down there to that lake on the bottom. And we'll take down one over there. Finally, we have a level four and he's a pretty big one. He goes up to 106 on his estimates there. We got a level three walking around. He's a 101. That one goes up to 91 and then this one goes up to 89. So there's some others over here, but let's go ahead and focus on the big guy. We'll see what he's going to score. Let's get the Malmer seven millimeter. We'll go ahead and get him down. Take that shot there. It's going to be just absolutely fantastic as most of the shots have been here today. I don't even remember what this guy's bottom end estimate was, so I'm not sure if he was a guaranteed gold or not. Let's get him picked up and we'll find out what he scores though. He will be a gold at 96.09 and we got him in the right lung and the left lung. So yeah, he is a pretty decent one. Gold was like 91, so he's five points above gold. And then diamond is 107.98, so he is about 11 points off from being diamond, which he wasn't diamond potential to begin with. He went up to 106, so he was 10 points off from that. 
Like I said, this second lake down here is also really good for the Ronda Ibex. I'm pretty sure this is where I've gotten the majority of my Diamond Rondas, if not all of them. So we have a zone right there. Then we have another one right over there. That's a decent one. He goes up to 103. I could just see that from here that he was pretty decent. And then we have a couple of zones over there just out of render distance. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of these, see what we got. We might take down that level four. Um, but this guy's a level three, he goes up to 84. That's a female. Level three goes up to 96. There's another one goes up to 92. So let's take down one of these, and I think we might also take down that level four. So we'll go for the one that has the best estimates. It's going to be that one right there. We'll take that shot, and it will be good. So we got him down. There was actually another one just right on top of us. That's going to be a female. So here we have this level three. Let's go ahead and get him picked up. He will be a silver at 88.30, and we got him in the left lung, the liver, and the stomach. So shot him right there into the lung, and then it just went into the liver and the stomach, so it wasn't like it was a far back shot or anything like that. Just into the lung and then into the liver, which is also a vital, and then got the stomach, which is something you really never want to get, but it's not going to mess him up or anything like that. So I think I'll just let that level four over there live. Let's move on to the next Ibex. Now the next Ibex we're going to be hunting is the Greedo, so this guy's a level 4, 90 to 103 for his estimates, he technically is diamond potential right there as you can see, goes up to 103 and diamond is 100.1, we also have that one technically diamond potential as well, his our top estimate is 100, so let's go ahead and get that guy down, this lake has always been really good for the um, Greedo, so I'll show you here in a second where it's at, so let's go ahead and take this guy really quickly, That'll be a good shot, probably single long, and yeah, he's going to be dropping pretty quickly. We have some more over there. I didn't even take a look at those to see what we had. Looks like it's a bunch of females, though. Now, the lake that we're at is over here in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. This spot has always just been really good for the Greedos. Let's go ahead and get this guy picked up. So, he will be just a gold at 91.89. He had the chance to be a diamond, but was only three points above on his top end. So, I really didn't expect it to happen, but if it did, it would have been pretty crazy. But got this guy in the right lung, so overall, good shot at 75 meters. We have some more just right over here that we're going to be looking at. At. so that one's a level three goes up to 85 level four goes up to 90 got another level three some of these are really tiny so we got some options over there and then we even have more right over there so let's go ahead and get a little bit closer and we'll take one of these down we spotted through the level threes over here and there's a four he only goes up to 89 so he's pretty small we're going to go ahead and get him down though it does say he was traveling there for a second but now he is back to drinking so let's go ahead and take that shot and yeah, looks like we got him. Looks like he dropped just right on the spot. And he did. There's the hunting pressure. So the other ones, they were just level threes. So we're not going to worry about them. There was another zone over here, but I think they're just all females, it looks like. So we also will not worry about those. Let's get over here and get this level three. Or level four, I should say. We got the vitals right there. And then here's the level four. So he will be a gold at 81.42. So what is gold again for the Greedos? It's going to be 80.53. So just barely making gold right there, but got him in the right lung. And then also the left lung, so just once again, more good shots on these Ibex. Another really good lake for the Greedos is this big one. It's just to the right of the small one we came from. So we have some right up ahead. There's a level 3. He goes up to 72. We have some that are currently alerted when I came out of the outpost. I kind of spooked them a little bit. I think they did flee because they were nervous for a little bit. But then they did come back in. So that guy, he is an 82. That one goes up to 85. So we'll probably take down that one. I think, yeah, he has the better estimates. There is another one that's walking over there, but he only goes up to 72. So let's go ahead and go for that guy. We'll use the Malmer 7mm. Kind of stand up, get him to flip around and everything, get him to go alert. And we should be able to take him. So let's go ahead and go for that shot right there. And yeah, just folded him over. So let's go ahead and get this level 3 picked up. And he will be a silver at 72.69. And we got him in the lower neck. So obviously not the best shot ever. The neck is going to drop him. It is a vital shot. But I would prefer to get into the lungs. So we actually have a level 5 Greedos on the map right now. I figured I would save him for the end of our little Greedos hunt here. So he's going to be at this zone at the very end. And we actually have another herd just right here. So I think what I'm going to do is just let them spook. I'm not going to even worry about shooting them. I want to get this level 5 down and see if he's going to be a diamond. Now there he is guys, level 5, 92 to 105 for his estimates. So diamond, like we said, is 100.1. He has a good chance to be a diamond. He also looks really impressive, I must say. Let's not waste any time, let's go ahead and get him down. So there's some level 4s, level 3s, and stuff like that over there with him. But obviously, they're not as important as this guy. So we'll go ahead and wait for it to do that, and we will take the shot. And that is going to be absolutely fantastic. He is going to be down. So let's get over there before the game decides to crash or something stupid like that. And let's pick him up and see if he'll be a diamond. Just look at those horns, guys. He is absolutely massive. Let's get him picked up and see if he's going to be a diamond. And he will, in fact, be a diamond at 103.45. Let's get him taxed immediately. So, yeah, he is a big one. Just look at him. So, got him in the um, right lung and the left lung. That was a fantastic shot on him. Let's get a few screenshots and everything so we can use him um, in the thumbnail and everything. He looks incredible, I must say. So, I'm not sure if he's, like, my biggest um, diamond Greedo, so I'm really not sure about that. 
um, because I've had a few in the past. But yeah, level 5, 103.45, Diamond's 100.17. So he's um, about 3 points above Diamond there, so let's go ahead and accept him. Let's go ahead and hunt the Southeastern Spanish Ibex to wrap things up. Now the last Ibex species we're going to be hunting today is the Southeastern Spanish. So like I said, they are class 6 now. I don't know when that happened, but you can see up there in the top right hand corner that they are now class 6. We have a level 3 up ahead, he goes up to 70. That one's also a level 3, goes up to 71. We got some level 2s and stuff like that. That one goes up to 70, and then we also have others over there, and that one goes up to like 76. We're not going to spot through all these or go through their, all their estimates. But over here, we do have something very interesting. That is a guaranteed diamond level 4 southeastern Spanish Ibex. I didn't notice this the first time around when I was finding my zones. But then again, I really didn't know exactly what diamond was for them. I didn't have all the information like typed out and stuff. So when I saw this um, and I actually looked to see what diamond was, I realized diamond is 89 and his bottom estimate is 90. So it's kind of crazy. We definitely are going to take him down. We'll see what he ends up scoring. But he is guaranteed diamond. There's another one that goes up to 83. Got some others over here. That's a level 3 female. That was a level 3 male. Goes up to 72. So they're about 220 meters out, so they're definitely going to spook if we shoot um, one of these over here. But I think we will do that. We'll shoot one of these, and then we'll see about maybe go getting over there, tracking one of those down, or just waiting on them to come back. We'll do something to make sure they get back over there. So let's go ahead and go for one of these. We have that level 2 right there. He's pretty small. We have this level 3. We'll go ahead and take him down. Why not? Let's use the 303, and let's get him dropped. So now we can switch over, and hopefully they don't spook, and they are actually still chilling. I figured they would spook. So let's go ahead and use the M1 and let's take this guy down and that'll be fantastic on him. That was a perfect shot. First off, we have the level 3. This guy will be a gold at 72.88 and we got him in the left lung, thoracic vertebrae, and the right lung. So hit a little bit high right there, but it did get into the double lung, so I'm not going to complain about it. Let's not stay on this one too long. Let's get over there and let's get our big level 4 diamond. We know he is guaranteed diamond. The question is, what is his score going to be exactly? Let's go ahead and get him picked up. And he will be a diamond at 91.38. So about two points above diamond right there. 89.68 is diamond. So that's just crazy. Let's get him taxed and everything. It's just crazy that he actually was guaranteed. Like I said, I didn't even notice it on my first run when I was looking um, for zones and stuff. So that's just pretty cool to see, honestly. So got him in the left lung and the liver. Good shot on him as he was alert right there at 227 meters with the M1. So we'll get him accepted and everything. He's taxed. Let's go ahead and go hunt two more spots for the Ibex and we'll wrap this whole thing up. Now the last lake that we're going to be at here today is this one right over here in the bottom right hand corner of the map. It is once again really good for the southeastern Spanish Ibex. We have a zone right here. I'm going to end up spooking those off. They're just females though. There is a zone over there as well. I don't know if they've gotten here yet. But then we have two herds right up ahead. So we're going to be focusing on the herds. That one right there standing up. He is a level 4. Goes up to 88. Um, got a female right there. That one is a level 1 male. We might take him down just because that's the first level 1 that I've seen. He is very tiny, goes up to 55, that one's level 2, only goes up to 56, so those estimates are the exact same pretty much, just one point off from each other. And then we have that guy, he's a level 4, goes up to 91, so diamond potential level 4 right there. Will he make it? I doubt it, he's only 2 points above, but the chance is there. So we have him, and then we have some others over there, there's a level 3, goes up to 80, level 3 goes up to 85, that one is a level 4, goes up to 80, and then we have just even more coming in. So there's another big one, goes up to 95, we're definitely taking him down. And I think we'll just take down this other one as well, unless he just doesn't give us a good shot. So we've used the um, 303 and the M1, let's use the Malmer 7mm now. And let's just go for whichever one gives us the best overall shot. So he's going to be standing broadside, we're going to go ahead and take it, not going to worry about the level 1. I will just let him live. Now there we have our big guy, he goes up to 95, so we're going to go ahead and get him down as soon as he lifts his head back up. So let's go ahead and hold our breath as long as the gun will just stay still right there. We will get him down, and yeah, he is going to be dropping on the spot. So here we have this one. He was the level 4. Was he diamond potential? I do not remember. Um, but he's gold 88.88, so he is actually very close to being a diamond. Got him in the right lung, the heart, the left lung, and the left humerus right there. So a good shot. A little bit far forward, but it did get into the heart and the left lung and the right lung. So I'm not going to complain about it. So yeah, I don't remember exactly what his estimates were, but he um, is pretty big, I must say. So let's go ahead and get him accepted, and we'll finally wrap things up by getting this big one down. Let's see, is that herd over there? Um, I do not see them, um, but yeah, let's get over here and let's get him. Now the moment of truth, is this level 4 going to be a diamond? We'll find out. Let's go ahead and get him picked up. And he will be just a gold at 85.36, so about 4 points off from being a diamond, but got him in the middle neck and the lower neck. Hit a little bit high, did not think that was a neck shot whatsoever. I figured we got into like the heart or something. But it was just a little bit high right there, but it dropped him, so let's go ahead and accept him. Let's move on now to the map guide. 
Now here we have the Quattro Kalina Zyvex map guide. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I decided to go ahead and make just one map for all of them since they were pretty well spread out and there was only actually one spot where there was two different Ibex species drinking at the same time for me. That was up there at the top of the map. You can see the blue and red circle kind of overlap over there. It's a really tiny lake. But that was the Vasi Ibex, which are, which are in light blue. The Ronda are in red. Southeastern Spanish are in pink. And then the Greedos are in white. So I figured this would be the best way just to kind of show you where they're at. And that way you won't be looking for like Greedos Ibex on the top half of the map. Or the Southeastern Spanish up there as well. They are only on the bottom half. So that pretty much does it here for this guide. I really do hope it was helpful. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.